what, what the lady's is talking about. What's up, family? Question. Can't believe I'm asking this, but I'm asking anyway. Is five years old too young to charge your child rent? Well, one Georgia mother seems to think it's not. You know, at five years old, most kids are counting. But this mother says, that ain't enough. You need to learn financial responsibility, and you need to learn it right now. Essence Evans is her name, and she garnered international attention on a recent Facebook post in which she said that she requires her five-year-old daughter to pay toward the family's rent, water, electricity, cable, and food. She says that she gives her daughter a $7 allowance each week. So paying rent is a way to teach her some real-world concepts. She says that she out of that $7 requires five to come back to her. And it's broken down like this. She says she makes her pay $1 for rent, $1 for water, $1 for electricity, $1 for cable, and $1 for food. Her daughter gets to keep $2 for herself or for savings. However, before y'all go off too hard, Unlike most landlords, the money that she give, she get from her daughter, she don't get to keep for herself. She puts the money into a savings account, which she says that her daughter will receive when she turns 18. She says her daughter don't know it yet, but she'll receive that money when she turns eight, uh, 18 years old. Hey, man. I don't think that you can be too young to learn financial responsibility. I think if more kids learn younger, it would just become part of their DNA and they won't make as many financial mistakes. That's my thinking. Now, some people out there are going to be like, oh, God, Jesus Christ, let them be children. Let them be kids kids cost a lot of money and kids spend a lot of money and oftentimes parents put themselves in a hole trying to get kids everything that they want if kids understood the value of a dollar they may not be so swift to spend that dollar to just give that dollar away and not get anything in return they may be more willing to make their money work for them at a young age. And listen here, if that's all you know is financial responsibility, I can't really see it being a strain on the child. See, when you understand financial responsibility, it becomes a habit and it just becomes as natural as getting up in the morning, and washing your face, brushing your teeth. It becomes that natural. And it's not a strain on you. But if you're always upside down and you can't get your finances right, then it's going to stress you out. Think about it. Think about all the times when you've had money in abundance, when you really had some money. You had a little extra to blow. You weren't really thinking about the bill. Oh, pay, pay that bill? What that bill? What that bill at? Yeah. Write that check. It ain't nothing, man. man. What, what you need? <sighs> Spending that money like Obama, you spent it. Yeah. You know, like, it's no big deal. When you got it, you got it, right? So, and when you know that your money going to be balanced, when you know you got enough, when you know you got enough, when you balance that money, it's the same thing. It almost become like a game, Right? It's like a game that you perfect. Like, bam, I know, because you have structure. you like, bam, I got this here. I got this amount of money for this. My money coming in for this. This is taken care of. This is taken care of. This is taken care of. And it's actually less stressful because you understand how money works. 
And so I salute the mom for teaching her child financial responsibility, especially today. There's so many kids out there who have a sense of entitlement. That's a bad character flaw. If I could offer the young lady any advice, I would just tell her that you have rights as a tenant. You are a paying tenant. Your mom is the landlord. And you need to let her know if she wants to come into your room in the future and inspect it, she must give you written notification. It's only right. No more talk.